welcome amazing friends and let's react to this question by one of our fans i tell you it's just very simple there are a lot of methods you can use make sure each method you're using obey the rules of circle theory now let me teach you the best way to do that and don't forget to tell us how helpful this tutorial is to you in the comment section let's do this together let's read the question we are told a b p if you look at the diagram we have a b p is a straight line okay and a d q a d q you see is also a straight line and we are told they are tangents i will explain what you mean by that let's just read a tangent to the circle center o then c lies on the circumference i will explain this too okay of the circle so this is the diagram we are asked to prove that y is equal to 2x and to give reasons it's just very simple so relax now what do you do just remember when we talk about tangent it means we have a circle okay and in this circle remember the outer part of this circle is what we call the circumference okay now when you choose to draw a line to touch this circumference at a point let's say we draw a straight line and this straight line touches the the time the circumference at a point this, the point where it touches it, it makes a tangent. So this is a tangent line. I hope you are getting it. So if this is a tangent line, then what does it mean? To answer this question, because the question has mentioned tangent, please remember the theorems of tangent of circle. Okay? It will help you a lot. Now, let me remind you of one of them. Now, when you look at this circle, you observe carefully that this is the center. And if this is the center, the line that runs from the center touches this tangent at point D. And this is also a center, as we have said. There's another line that runs from this center touching this line at point B, which is the tangent. And there's a theorem that supports this. The theorem says that whenever you have a circle centered, maybe centered O, now if there is a line that runs from the center, Touching this tangent, you know that the line from the center to the circumference is what we call the radius. So when the radius touches the tangent at a point, that point it touches it, it is perpendicular, it makes angle 90. I hope this is clear. That is the radius tangent, okay? So if this is true, it is going to guide us a lot in answering this. Now, the possibilities we have to look out for is is there a possibility of we to get this angle here can we get this angle can we also find this angle can we also find this one at the center when we get these three angles it will help us to answer this question now let me teach you how to get the angles remember we have said that this is the center so the line that runs from the center touching the tangent makes angle 90 degrees so there's already angle 90 degree here so we are going to say that so we start answering so we begin this with solution so we are going to say that angle a d o okay a d o that's this angle here so we have it that angle a d o is equal to 90 degrees what is our reason? The radius and the tangent. Now, if this place is 90, also observe that this is a tangent and this line is a radius. So it also makes 90 degrees here. So what do you say? Angle A, B, O. So we are going to have it that angle A, B, O is also equal to 90 degrees. What is still your reason? The same thing. So we have been able to get this as 90 and here as 90. Now, can we find this angle here? This inside angle for O, which is the obtuse angle. Can we find it? Yes. Now, let me teach you what to do. If you go back to the diagram, you observe that this place is X. And when you go to this part, you observe carefully that this part is given as 2X. And you know fully well that from here to here is also radius. So it means obeying this rule that this angle here is also 90 degrees. Did you see that with me? 
from this point touching the tangent it makes angle 90 just like it's made it here so if the total angle here is 90 so what do we say we are going to label it that angle o b p let's see o b p did you see so the total angle here from that radius to the tangent is what 90 degrees the same reason so if this total angle is 90 then this half part of it this smaller part of it is going to is 2x what do you think should be the value of this one this inside angle it is going to be so how do you label it you are going to label it angle o b c i hope you are seeing what we're doing o b c that means this inside one so angle o b c is going to be 90 which is the total minus this part which is 2x i hope you are seeing what we're doing so it means that this inside is going to take the value of 90 minus 2x we are getting closer now another property you need to rem remember is that because this is ready just watch let's bring our shape out we have something like this i hope you are still with me this place is b here is C and this is O. And you know that this is radius from the center to the circumference and from the center to the circumference is radius. So it means that this is radius and this is radius. What kind of shape is it forming? It's forming an isosceles triangle. So if this point is 90 minus 2x, what is special about isosceles? You know that the base angles, which those two lines that are equal form you see that the two sides are equal. So if the two sides are equal, that is why we call it isosceles. And the base angle they formed is always equal. So it means that this angle here is equal to this angle. I hope you are following. So if that is true, it means we can easily find this angle here, this part. We want to find this. So until you get this reflex, you can now get the obtuse. I hope you are still with me there. So it means that this place is also 90 minus 2. So we're going to label it angle OCB. So we have OCB is equal to 90 minus 2x. Did you see? What is your reason? Base angle of a isosceles. We are getting closer. So if this is true, can we find this O? Yes, you are going to have it that angle boc so we have angle boc is equal to 180 minus the total of these two and the total of these two you know is 90 minus 2x plus 90 minus 2x so when you add this up it gives you boc is equal to 180 add this it gives you a 180 so you have minus 180 Add this, it gives you negative 4x. I hope you are with me there. So taking it up, we are going to have angle BOC is equal to 180. Use this to expand the bracket. So it gives you negative 180. Use this also here. Negative multiplies negative is positive. So we have positive 4x. So if you subtract, this is 0. So we are going to have angle BOC is equal to 4x. So what it means is that this part is 4x. Now, can we get this? Yes, to get this, we are going to repeat the same because you observe that from here to here is radius, from here to here is radius. So it's forming the same isosceles. So let's bring that shape out. So we're going to have something like this, okay? We know fully well that this place is x and these two are radii. So let's get this, obeying the same rule, we are having it that, so here is D, here is O, and here is C. So obeying the same rule, we are going to say that angle DCO, so we have it that angle DCO, okay, DCO, that's this angle here, is also equal to X. What is our reason? Base angle of a isosceles. I hope you are still with me there. Now, having stated that, it means here is x so can we find this yes total angles in a triangle is 180 
So it means that to find this, we are going to now have angle DOC. So this gives us DOC is equal to 180 minus the sum of these two. Okay, so it's going to give us X plus X. You see what we did? When you add these two, you take it away from 180. So it's going to give us 180 minus, add this, it gives us 2X. So it's giving us DOC as what? 180 minus 2X. So here is 180 minus 2X. Go back to the main diagram. This part is 180 minus 2X. Now, having gotten this, you observe carefully that when you have a diagram, let me just remind you of something. When you have a shape like this in angles, this outside angle, total of it is what we call the reflex, okay? So if you observe carefully, this is what you have. So we're going to find the total of this angle. Did you see? And what do we have there? We have what? 4x. So what we have here is 4x. Then add it to 180 minus 2x. You see what we're doing? So if you add these two together, 4x minus this gives us 2x. So we're going to have 180 plus 2x. That is what is there. So can we find this part? To find this part, what do you do? It has formed a what? A revolution. That is angle at a point. So in that case, we're going to have an angle at a point is 360. So it will be total of 360. Take away this from it you are going to have 180 plus 2x, okay? Now, let's take it down. So, we are going to have from there. So, we are going to have from this part, we have 360 minus, use this to expand, we have 180. Use this to expand this, you have negative 2x. I hope you are still with me. So, it means you are having, subtract this, you have 180 minus 2x. So what it means is that this inside angle here is 180, which is the obtuse. So we're going to have 180. This gives us 180 minus 2x. Interesting. Now, looking at this, you observe that you have gotten this angle. We have gotten this. And we have also gotten the one at the center. So what do you do? You can easily work it out. Now, to work it out, we are going to now have... So we now have a shape like this. Just watch, just watch this, 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 and this. Did you see? So let's bring it out. And this is A, labeled Y. Here is B, we got it as 90. Okay, here is O, we have it as 180 minus 2X. And this is D, we have it as 90. And this is a four-sided shape, which is a for the lateral so what it means is that when we add all these angles it should be equal to 360 because total angles of a quadrilateral is 360 degrees so let's add it up we now have 90 plus 180 minus 2x plus this y plus 90 should be equal to 360 degrees our reason is sum of angles in a quadrilateral I hope you are still with me there. Now, what do you do again? Just simplify. So this is giving us color like terms. 90 plus this plus this will give us 360. Okay. Minus 2x plus y is equal to 360. So what do you do? Make y subjects. Okay. So we have y is equal to, this is positive. So to remove it, you subtract. So you are going to subtract. Okay. This is negative. To remove it, you add. So we're going to add and also add this 360. Already at the right side. And 360 minus 360. Negative 360 plus 360 is already zero. So this gives us y is equal to 2x. And remember, we are asked to prove that y is equal to 2x. And we are done showing it. So this is quite easily done. We are done proving and i hope you learned a lot especially the theorems we record while showing this it helps you to answer similar question and don't forget to tell us how helpful this is to you in the comment sharing it will help the algorithm to catch it 
and send it to more people that need these skills. If this helps you, please subscribe for more and I will see you in our next class. Bye-bye.